The Lord is good all the time. and all the time. The Lord is good. The Lord is good. Amen. My soul says yes. Says yes. Oh, says yes. My soul says yes. Says yes. Do your will. My soul. Says yes. My soul says yes. Says yes. Says yes. Says yes. Says yes.
mighty name. Amen. The Lord is good. All and all the time. The Lord is good. All and all the time. The Lord is good. Praise the Lord. Voices of angels. Voices of angels. Voices of angels. Praise the Lord. Voices of angels. Voices of angels. Voices of angels praise the lord praise master jesus i thank god for this opportunity thank my papa and the lord for this opportunity pastor head Byers. although he's not here i know for a fact that his spirit is here i know for a fact that his whole mind is here praise the lord praise master jesus i thank the lord for the grace that is upon his life Thank the Lord for the for his hands that is upon his life. And I pray that the Lord will continue to use him. I pray that the Lord will continue to use him. Praise the Lord. I thank the Lord for the grace upon our mother's, our mama's life. Pray that the Lord will continue to use her. To speak through her. To open her eyes. 
to see more. Amen. To open her eyes to see what is coming. Amen. So that she can prepare her children. Amen. Because if the mother is not seeing, if the father is not seeing, the children are lost. But I thank God for the grace that is in this ministry. That our parents can see. Amen. That our parents can hear. Amen. They are not blind. Amen. God reveals to them. Amen. And when he reveals to them, they reveal to us. Amen. They speak with us. Amen. And they prepare us. Amen. Mama, may the Lord continue to use you. May the Lord continue to increase you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The Spirit of God is here. Amen. The Spirit of God is here. Amen. Voices of angels. angels. Praise the Lord. Voices of angels. angels. Amen. Voices of angels. Praise the Lord. Voices of angels. Amen. Tell your neighbor, mind your message. Mind your message. Tell your neighbor well, mind your message. Mind your message. Tell your neighbor well, mind your message. Mind, mind your message. Neighbor, mind your message. 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 Praise the Lord. We are talking about what? Voices of angels. angels. Amen. Voices of angels. Let us open our Bibles to 2 Corinthians 11. 2 Corinthians 11. Thank you, Jesus. 2 Corinthians 11. From verse 14. Are we there? 2 Corinthians 11 from verse 14. Amen. And the Bible says, And no wonder, for Satan himself transformed himself into an angel of light. Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers also transform themselves into ministers of righteousness, whose end will be according to what to their works. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Tell your neighbor, mind your message. Mind, mind, your, message. Your, message. mind your message. Mind your message. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. See, the word, the word angel is a, is, is a translation from the word in Hebrew, Malak, praise the Lord, in the Old Testament, and the Greek word angelos, amen. amen. Now, angel, it means messenger, and it also describes one that executes the plan of the person who sent him, praise the Lord. One that executes the plan of the person he serves, amen. Amen. An angel is a messenger or a person that executes the plan of the person whom he serves. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. Meaning what? The difference between an angel of God, an angel of light, and a fallen angel is the message that they bring. Praise the Lord. It is the, the difference is the message that they bring. Amen. Amen. Tell your neighbor, mind your, mind your message. The difference between an, an angel of God and an angel of the devil is the message that they bring. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What does the Bible say? The Bible says that Satan himself, he parades as an angel of light. Amen. He parades as an angel of what? Of flight. Praise the Lord. He parades as the angel of flight. Amen. Amen. But why does the Bible say that he parades? Because his message is not the same as the message of God. Praise the Lord. His message is not the same as the message of God. Amen. Although he may, he may copy the whole structure the whole infrastructure of the kingdom of God, there is one thing that Satan cannot copy, and that is the word of God. Praise the Lord. There is one thing that Satan cannot copy, and that is the word of God. Amen. Because he has detached himself from that word long time ago. Praise the Lord. So whatever Satan will try to do, it will be against the word of God. Praise the Lord. 
praise master jesus so his message can never be in line with god amen no matter how many times he tries to copy the infrastructure of the kingdom of god there is one thing that will never be the same and that is the message amen, amen. it is the message the message shall never be the same praise the lord tell your neighbor mind your message, mind mind your message. message. we are talking about voices of angels praise the lord we are talking about voices of angels amen if your message is not in line with the message of god christian you are in trouble praise the lord if your message and you say you are a christian if your message is not in line with the message of god you are in trouble because it means that you are parading like the devil praise the lord it means that you're saying i'm a christian but your message does not proclaim christianity praise the lord the devil the bible says the devil parades as an angel of light amen it means that he comes and say i'm a christian but his message is not christianity his message is not love his message is not peace praise the lord his message is not joy he parades amen he parades christian if your word if your message is not in line with the word of god you are in trouble mind your message we are talking about voices of angels amen and the difference between you being an angel of god and an angel of satan is the message that you bring praise the lord it is the message that you bring amen because the devil the bible says he parades as an angel of light praise the lord he parades as an angel of light amen therefore it is no great thing if his ministers also transform themselves into what ministers of righteousness but what does the bible say the bible say whose end will be according to what to their works meaning that their works are not the works of god praise the lord although they parade themselves as angels of light their works are not the works of god they are parading praise the lord they are parading your message is what makes the difference between you being an angel of god and an angel of satan praise the lord and with god there is no gray area the, with god there is no i am not an angel of god i'm not the an angel of satan praise the lord you are either one or the other amen mind your message mind your message praise the lord mind your message this is because your message is what determines the type of angel that you are praise the lord the bible says in ephesians 4 29 let no corrupt word proceed out of your mouth but what is good for necessary edification that it may impart grace to the hearers amen so that it may impact grace to the hearers if your word is not impacting grace to the hearers you are in trouble praise the lord Hallelujah. the message that you bring it is what will determine where you stand amen. amen praise the lord the message that you bring it is what will determine where you stand if you speak the same message as the people that are outside how can you say that you are a christian if somebody that is outside he speaks with you and he says there is no difference between me and you how can you say that you are a christian how can you say that you are an angel of god how can you say that you're a messenger of god if the word that you speak is the same word that they speak praise the lord mind your message if you speak the same way that they speak christian you are in trouble you are in trouble praise the lord your message should look nothing like their message your message should look nothing like their message praise the lord the way you speak should look nothing like the way they speak praise the lord praise master jesus because as long as you are not doing that as long as your message is not the same as the message of god it's not the same as the word of god you are parading you are not a christian you are not an angel of god praise the lord you are parading amen you are parading and be very cautious be very careful because the bible says what their end will be according to their works praise the lord your end will be according to your works 
if you do not follow, if you do not speak the message of God. Amen. Amen. If your message is not in line with the message of God, praise the Lord. Amen. Praise Master Jesus. Tell your neighbor, mind your message. Mind your message. Mind your message. Mind your the Bible says, let no corrupt word proceed out of your mouth, but what is good for necessary edification, that it may impart grace to the hearers. This is like when they arrest criminals in movies, they say, well, you have the right to remain silent because everything you say shall be used and will be used against you in court. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. Do you know that it's the same principle with God? Everything you say, everything you say, it will be used against you in court. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Everything you say, it will be used against you in court. That is why the Bible says in the multitude of words, is sin, sin is not lacking. But he who restrains his lips is wise. Praise the Lord. That is Proverbs 10 verse 19. In the multitude of words, sin is not lacking. But he who keeps his mouth shut is wise. Amen. Why? Because every word that is not according to the word of God, every word that is apart from the word of God that you speak out, you will be held accountable for it. Amen. Mind your message. Praise the Lord. Mind your message. If you do not have anything too good to say, be quiet. Yes, sir. If you do not have anything good to add, remain quiet. Yes. You don't have to speak always. Yes. Praise the Lord. We don't always have to speak. We don't always have to speak. Because nowadays we want to speak everything we want to react. Sometimes we don't have to react. Amen. Amen. When, when Jesus was questioned, are you the king of the Jews? He did not react. He remained quiet. Praise the Lord. They asked him, are you not going to defend yourself? He remained quiet. It is not everything we have to react to. Mind your message. Mind your message. Because that is what would determine whether you are an angel of God or an angel of Satan. Amen. Amen. That, is the, that is the difference between them. Is the message that they bring. It's the message that they proclaim. Praise the Lord. Satan parades as an angel of light. But if you are not careful to perceive his message, you will fall for him. Amen. Amen. He parades as an angel of light. But if you are not careful to listen to his message carefully and to see where it leads you, you will fall with him. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. Mind your message. Mind your message. I could have preached today and say every voice in your life, every voice that in your life that is not from God, silence them. We could have, I could have made that a preaching. But God wants us to rise up. He wants us to stop complaining. And he wants us to be a voice. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He wants us to be a voice. Hallelujah. He wants us to be a voice. No longer, we could pray day and night, every voice of the devil silent. But what if God, what if everyone around us is a voice of the devil? Will you keep praying, 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 praying? Instead of you standing up and saying, I will become a voice for God. Praise the Lord. God wants us to rise up. And become voices of angels. Amen. Voices of angels in our environment. Amen. Voices of angels in our family. Amen. Voices of angels in our working place. Amen. Voices of angels in school. Praise the Lord. Amen. When they speak to us, let our message be different from their message. Amen. When they hear us speaking, let them say, what is this about you? Praise the Lord. Amen. When they speak to us, they will wonder, what, 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 what makes you so special? It's the message that we bring. Praise the Lord. It's the message that we carry. Because why? God wants us to be what? Voices of angels. Praise the Lord. He wants us to be voices of angels. Amen. It is no longer, we should stop complaining. We should stop complaining. Certain prayers that we have to skip. Every voice, every evil voice in my environment, be silenced. You speak, speak yourself. Praise the Lord. Change that environment yourself. Amen. Change that environment yourself. Speak yourself. Praise the Lord. No matter how many there are in that environment, when you speak the message of God, they will change. It may not be immediately, but in time you, they will change. Praise the Lord. 
In time, you they must change. Praise Master Jesus. God wants us to become voices of angels. God wants us to speak for him. God wants us to stand in the midst of all other voices and speak for him. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. And you know that as you will minister to people, as you will speak to people, people will speak to you. Do you know that as you focus on speaking the word of God, other people will speak the word of God to you? Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. You, do you know that? Do you know that from the moment it's, it's the same principle as giving and you shall receive? The more you speak, the more other people will minister to you. Praise the Lord. The more you speak, the more people will minister to you. Amen. The more you speak the word of God, the more the Lord will minister to you as well. Praise the Lord. The more you speak the word of God, the more he will minister to you. Amen. As long as you remain silent, you are giving opportunity for all those other voices to minister to you. But when they know your position, when they know where you are, where you are standing, praise the Lord. When the devil came to tempt Jesus, Jesus remained standing of what he was standing. And the devil had no other choice but to flee. Praise the Lord. The devil had no other choice but to flee. Those voices that are speaking, when you start to speak to them, they will flee. Praise the Lord. When you start to speak with, to them, they will flee. Amen. Amen. Instead of you to pray for God to remove them, you remove them. Amen. Because you have the power. Amen. Because you have the power. Amen. You have the power to silence them. Jesus has the power to silence the devil. It means that you have that power also. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Why? Because he gave you authority. Yes. He gave you authority. Hallelujah. He gave you authority. Amen. But it is that we are too busy complaining. Amen. Amen. It's that we are too busy complaining. Say, God, this, this, this person has spoken bad against me. Instead of you to speak the word of God to them. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Do you think that they will continue speaking? Do you think that they will continue speaking? They cannot remain there and continue to speak. Praise the Lord. The more you minister the word of God, the more you speak the word of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The more you will receive the word of God. Amen. Will it be from your pastor? Will it be from God himself? But you will receive it. You will receive it. Amen. When you minister to other people, God will make sure that you are ministered to. Because you need a point of contact to be refreshed. Hallelujah. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Yeah. You need a point where you will you, you need your refreshment and God knows. God knows. That is why Papa was when Papa was preaching about going into the desert after your baptism, he said that you you must you must always have a point where you come back and you are refreshed. Praise the Lord. The more you minister outside, the more God will minister to you. Praise the Lord. You know that. Jesus, at the third, he had been ministering his whole life. These three and a half years that his ministry was busy. He had been ministering day and night, day and night, everywhere he went. Praise the Lord. Now, there came a point where Jesus also needed someone to minister to him. And what does the Bible say? The Bible says that angels came down and ministered to him and strengthened him. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Praise Master Jesus. Angels came down and strengthened him. They ministered to him. They spoke to him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. They spoke encouraging words to Jesus. Amen. Somebody that had he had he had been ministering the whole day. Whole, whole three and a half years. Praise the Lord. Now this came a point where he also needed someone to minister to him. And the Bible says that angels came and strengthened him. Let us open our Bibles today in Luke 22, verse 41. Luke 22. Luke 22, uh, 22, verse 41. Praise the Lord. Luke 22, from verse 20, uh, 41. The Bible says, And he was withdrawn from them about a stone's throw, and he knelt down and prayed, saying, Father, if it is your will, take this cup away from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but yours be done. Then an angel appeared to him from heaven, strengthening him praise the lord and being in agony he prayed more earnestly then his sweat became like great drops of blood falling down to the ground praise the lord 
praise master jesus what came an angel came from where from heaven amen an angel came from where from heaven and ministered to him praise the lord there was nobody in that environment that was able to minister to jesus because they did not understand amen they did not understand the purpose of jesus they did not understand what was awaiting jesus they did not understand but there was one that understood and that was god mm, and what did god do he sent down an angel from heaven to minister to jesus and the bible says what jesus what was strengthened praise the lord he received strength amen he received strength praise the lord voices of angels god wants you to be a voice for him god wants you to be an angel for him praise the lord god wants you to be a messenger for him praise the lord praise master jesus he wants you to be a messenger for him amen now let us focus on this verse and let me show you what this verse tells about angels number one they are god's servants they are god's servants praise the lord they are god's servants the bible says he appeared from heaven amen the bible says he appeared from heaven praise the lord they are god's servants they are god's servants they are God's servants. He appeared from heaven. And you know, they, might, they may have strength, but their strength comes from God. Praise the Lord. Their strength comes from God. The moment that they detach themselves from God, they are no longer angels of light. They become fallen angels. Praise the Lord. They become fallen angels. Praise the Lord. They are servants of God. He appeared from heaven. Amen. Number two, angels strengthen and comfort in times of need. Angels strengthen and comfort in times of need. Praise the Lord. Jesus was, his, he was in a time of need. Praise the Lord. He was feeling weak at that moment. Jesus was feeling weak at that moment and he needed encouragement. Praise the Lord. He needed encouragement. All this time he had been doing the work of God, but he came to a point where the step that God wanted him to take it was, go it was becoming very difficult for him. And an angel came down and strengthened him and comforted him. Praise the Lord. He came down and strengthened him and comforted him. Praise the Lord. When you pray, God sends your... He sends his angels to strengthen you. When you are in time of weakness, he sends his angels to strengthen you. Praise the Lord. But do you know that you do not recognize them as angels? When Papa is preaching on the altar, there are some messages that are maybe meant for one person in this place. That is that angel that is speaking to that person. Praise the Lord. That is that, 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 is that strengthening, that is that strength that that person was needing, that that person is receiving at that moment. But for us, when it is not meant for us, we may say, yeah, it's just Papa preaching. Praise the Lord. But it is an angel that is here. Amen. It is an angel that is standing on this altar. Praise the Lord. And the message that he speaks, it is a message that is meant to strengthen and to comfort in a time of need. Praise the Lord. It is a message that is meant to strengthen and to comfort in a time of need. Praise the Lord. Number three, angels push us and encourage us to do the will of God. Angels push us and encourage us to do the will of God. Jesus did not want to drink that cup, but that was the will of God. Amen. That was the will of God. He was supposed to drink that cup, but he did not want to drink it. And an angel came to strengthen him and said, Jesus, listen, this is the will of the Father. You have to drink it. Amen. This is the will of the Father. You have to drink it. Praise the Lord. This is the will of the Father. You have to go through this step. Jesus was at the point where he was almost giving up. He said, Father, if it is your will, let this cup pass me by. Amen. But then he said, nevertheless, not my will, but your will be done. Praise the Lord. Although Jesus said, not my will, but your will be done. You know that in his heart, he was wishing that it was not the will of the Father, but it was the will of the Father. He had to drink it. Praise the Lord. And the angel came down to encourage him to do the will of the Father. 
Praise the Lord. Do you know that that is who you are? Do you know that that is who you are? This is who God wants you to be. A servant of God that is there to strengthen and to comfort people in time of need and to encourage them to do the will of God. Praise the Lord. That is who you are. You are here to strengthen, to comfort, and to push people to do the will of God. That is who you are. Voices of angels. Amen. Voices of angels. How many of us want to be angels here tonight? How many of us want to be angels of God tonight? How many of us want God to use us? Praise the Lord. Because that is what He wants from us. He wants to use us. He wants us to be His servants. He wants us to strengthen people, to comfort people. And He wants us to encourage people to do His will. Because that is what this angel came down to do for Jesus. That is what Jesus came down on earth for us to do. He came to strengthen us, He came to comfort us, to heal us, and to encourage us to do the will of the Father. Praise the Lord. That is what an angel is. That is what an angel does. Amen. And I'm telling you that tonight you will become angels. Amen. Tonight you will become messengers of God. Amen. Your message must change. Amen. Your message must change. Amen. Your message must change. It must be aligned with the message of God. Amen. And it shall be aligned with the message of God in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let us open our Bibles to Isaiah. Isaiah 6. Isaiah 6, we are talking about voices of angels. Amen. And I said, mind your message. Mind your message. Because that is what differentiates you from an angel of God and an angel of Satan. Praise the Lord. That is what makes the difference between you two is the message that you bring. Because if you speak like them, you are one of them. Amen. If you, if you speak like them, you are one of them. Praise the Lord. If you act like them, you are one of them. If your fruit is like the fruit that they produce, you are one of them. You come from that tree. Praise the Lord. An apple tree cannot give you pears. It cannot give you oranges. It gives you apples. Praise the Lord. So if your fruit is like them, it means that your tree is there. Amen. It's not in God. Praise the Lord. Isaiah 6. <laughs> Isaiah 6, and we read from verse 4. The Bible says, And the posts of the door were shaken by the voice of him who cried out, and the house was filled with smoke. So I said, Woe is me, for I am undone, because I am a man of unclean lips. And I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. For my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Then one of the seraphim flew to me, having in his hands a live coal, which he had taken with the tongues from his altar. And he touched my mouth with it and said, Behold, this has, uh, this has touched your lips. Your iniquity is taken away, and your sin is purged. Also I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? And who will go for us? Then I said, Here am I, send me. And he said, Go and tell these people, Keep on hearing but do not understand. Keep on seeing but do not perceive. Make the heart of these people dull and their ears heavy. And shut their eyes, lest they see with their eyes and hear with their ears. And understand with their heart and return and be healed. Then I said, Lord, how long? And he answered, Until the cities are laid waste. And without inhabitant, the houses are without a man, the land is utterly desolate, the Lord has removed men far away, and the forsaken places are many in the midst of the land. But yet a tent will be in it, and will return and be for consuming, as a terebinth tree or as an oak, whose stump remains when it cuts down, so the holy seed shall be its stump. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. I will give you four things. Four things that you have to work on, praise the Lord. Four things that you have to work on. Four things that we have to work on 
as children of God, if we want to become angels of God, praise the Lord. If we want to become messengers of God, amen. If we want to become messengers of God, number one, renew, renew your way of talking. Renew your way of talking, praise the Lord. Number one, renew your way of talking. Amen. Isaiah said, Woe to me, for I am undone, because I am a man of what? Unclean lips. And I dwell in the midst of people of unclean lips. For my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Then one of the seraphim flew to me, having in his hands a live coal, which he had taken in the tongues from the altar. And he touched my mouth with it and said, Behold, this has touched your lips. Your iniquity is taken your way, and your sin is purged. Praise the Lord. Renew your way of talking. Amen. The way you talk, it must change. Praise the Lord. The way you talk, it must change. Amen. Isaiah said, I am a man of what? Unclean lips. Praise the Lord. Meaning the way that he talked, it was not the way that he was meant to talk. Praise the Lord. The way that he spoke, it was not the way that he was supposed to speak. Your vocabulary must change. The Bible says one of the, one of the seraphim came and purified his mouth. Amen. It means that every message that was not from God in his mouth, it was removed. It was purified. It was changed. His way of talking changed. Your way of talking must change. Praise the Lord. Your way of talking must change. Amen. You must speak a new tongue. You must speak a new tongue. If you want to be a messenger of God, you must speak a new tongue. You must speak a new tongue. Praise the Lord. Wherever you were joining people in saying, I am sick, you will now say, I am healed by the stripes of Jesus. Yeah. Wherever you were saying to people, I have no hope, now you have someone that will say, Your Lord, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Mm. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Your way of talking must change. Hallelujah. The message that you proclaim must change. Amen. Praise the Lord. Isaiah said, I am a man of unclean lips. Praise the Lord. But God, what did God do? God sent one of the seraphims to purge his mouth, to purify his mouth. Everything that was defiling in his mouth, it was removed. Every word that was not from God in his mouth, it was removed. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Renew your way of talking. Amen. Renew your way of talking. Amen. Change the way you talk. The Bible says you shall speak a new tongue. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Your vocabulary must be different. Because impossible is not in the vocabulary of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Impossible is not in the vocabulary of God. Depression is not in the vocabulary of God. When the fruit of the Spirit is joy. Praise the Lord. We must change the way we speak. And it's a training process. Praise the Lord. It takes time. It takes time to change the way we speak. But we must do it. If we want to be angels of God, mm -hmm. praise the Lord. Amen. You know, there is a word that the, that, the, that Belgium and Dutch and um, Holland, they are very good at using is God verdomme. Yeah. Praise the Lord. That is their favorite word. When no, no matter what happens, it's God verdomme. <laughs> praise the Lord. Do you know that they are cursing themselves? Say, God, curse me. God, curse me. And they are screaming that multiple times a day. And when they have cancer, they wonder what happens. When they fall ill, they wonder what happens. It's the word that they speak. Praise the Lord. It's the word that they speak. It's the word that they speak. Praise the Lord. And for them, it will be a very difficult process. It's a training process to change that tone. To change that word. Praise the Lord. But we must change that way. Amen. We must change our ways of speaking. Amen. We must change our ways of speaking. Amen. If we speak, let us speak the word of God. Amen. If we proclaim anything, let it be the word of God. Amen. 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 Because as long as we do not change the way we speak, God cannot send us. God cannot use us as messengers. God cannot use us as messengers. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Number one, Renew your way of talking. 
Renew your way of talking. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. When the wife of Job tried to convince Job, when the wife of Job tried to convince Job to curse to, to curse God, what, what did Job say? You speak as a foolish woman. Praise the Lord. You speak as a foolish woman. Change the way you speak. Praise the Lord. You speak as a foolish woman. He said, should we accept the good from God? And when something bad happens, should we go against him? Praise the Lord. The way she spoke, the way she was thinking, the way she spoke, the message that she brought, he said, you speak as a foolish woman. Praise the Lord. Mind the way you talk. Amen. Renew your way of talking. The things you say should be for edification, for the glory of God. To build up and not to break down. Amen. Amen. Renew your way of talking. Number two, be available. If you want to become an angel of God, you have to be available. Praise the Lord. You have to be available. Amen. Verse 8 says, Also I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send and who will go for us? Then I said, Here am I, send me. Praise the Lord. Availability. You have to be available. If you want God to use you as a messenger, you have to be available. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. You have to be available. Amen. Make time for God to use you. Make time for God to use you. Praise the Lord. Because you can pray ten times a day, God use me, God use me. But when he calls you and you say you're not available, do you think he will come again? Praise the Lord. When you want to go to work with interims and they say to fill your days that you are available and you fill them and they call you on that day, you say you are not available. Do you think they will come again and call you? Praise the Lord. When you have asked them, when you have told them that you are available. But now that they call you to do the work, you say you are not there. Praise the Lord. Same thing with God. We should make time for God. For him to use us. Praise the Lord. Isaiah said, God said, who should I send? Isaiah said, here I am, send me. Praise the Lord. Here I am, send me. If you want to be an angel of God, be available. Be available. Be available. Praise the Lord. When they need you, when they need someone to do something in the ministry, be available. Hallelujah. When they need someone to go somewhere in the ministry, be available. Because that is what we call carrying your cross and forsaking whatever is not God behind for the things of God. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. Praise Master Jesus. I have learned to prioritize the things of God. I have learned to make my schedule around the things of God. Praise the Lord. If I have, if they ask me to do something, and on that day I have to be in church, I will not miss church to go and do that thing. My schedule is focused on church. My schedule is focused on ministry. Praise the Lord. When I feel my availabilities for for Randstad or for Temple Team. I always look what are the hours that I'm in church. If they call me to the hours, I say I'm not free. Praise the Lord. Because I have a duty. I have to be available for God. I have to be available for God. Praise the Lord. I have to be available for God. Everything is first filled with the word of God and then all the rest they follow. Amen. All the rest they follow. You have to be available for God. You have to be available for God. Amen. You have to be available for God. And even in the free time that I still have, if they call me, if Papa calls me to go and do something, I'm available. I leave everything behind and go what he wants me to do. Praise the Lord. Sometimes he calls me out of nowhere. He tells me he will not be in the Bible study. He needs me here. I will come. No matter what I have planned on that, on that day, I will come. Praise the Lord. Being available for God. Amen. Being available for God. I remember when a few years ago, when a few years ago, a member of, of our church was, was having attacks. Was having attacks in the night, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock. They would call us, 
Sister Grace, uh, Brother Jonathan, Sister Vicky, Brother Brad was still there. At the, I think he was there as well. We would go there 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock in the morning. We pray, we pray, we pray, we pray. Praise the Lord. The next day, some of us have to go to work. Some, some have to go to school. Praise the Lord. But because the work of God is first. Hallelujah. When you are called, move. Amen. Be available. Be available. Be available for God. Praise the Lord. That is how you glorify the way of the word of God. That is how you become an angel of God. Amen. Four o'clock, five o'clock. We will be there all praying together. Singing together. Worshipping the Lord. Until the case is finished. Amen. Until the case is finished. Be available. The work of God should come first. Amen. The work of God should come first. The more you set yourself available, the more he will use you. Praise the Lord. And you know that the more he will use you, the more you will increase. Do you know that the more God uses you, the more you increase? Praise the Lord. People are looking for increase. Your increase is hidden in your availability for God. Praise the Lord. Your increase is hidden in your availability for God. Praise the Lord. The increase of Peter, the increase of Peter was hidden in him being available for the things of God. Praise the Lord. Because when he, Jesus came to him, he was what? A fisher of fishes. Amen. Now Jesus told him, come with me and I will make you what? A fisher of men. Is that not increase? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Your increase is in your availability for God. Amen. Praise the Lord. If you are looking for increase, tell God to use you. The more he will use you, the more you will increase. Amen. Because he will bring you in some facets of life that you have never experienced. There are things about yourself that you do not know that you can do. But when God puts you in those situations, those things will just come out naturally because he has put those things in you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Your increase is in your availability for God to use you. Isaiah was just a mere man. He was just a normal man. But now that he was available, he became what? A prophet. Praise the Lord. He became a prophet because he was available for God to be to, to use him. Praise the Lord. If you want to be, if you want to increase, say, God, use me. Amen. Amen. God, use me. Amen. And he will use you. Amen. And you will grow. Hallelujah. He will use you and you will grow. Amen. Praise the Lord. The increase of Peter was hidden in his fishing business. It was hidden in his fishing business. But when the fishing business was removed, it was put aside for the things of God. His increase was there. It was seen. Praise the Lord. The things that occupy you, the things that occupy you, that you occupy yourself with above the things of God, do you know that they are hiding your increase? They are, they are, they are, they are blocking your increase. From the moment that you put those things aside, you will see how you will grow. Praise the Lord. From the moment that you are able to put all those unnecess unnecessary things aside, that is when you will, you will see that you are growing. Praise the Lord. You will see that you are growing because what, what God wants you to do, you are doing it now. Praise the Lord. And the things that you, are, that you need for, for you to do those things, he will give it to you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. He will give it to you. It's what Sister Naomi preached the, the last time that she preached. She said, God qualifies the call. He does not call the qualified. Praise the Lord. He qualifies the called. Praise the Lord. He qualifies the called. He does not call the qualified. So when you answer your call for God, you will increase you because you will discover what he has put in you. Praise the Lord. Peter did not, uh, Peter did not know that there was more to him than just a mere fisher of fishes. It is when God started to use him it is when God started to use him that he saw that he was just more than that. Praise the Lord. That is when he saw that he was more than just a mere fisher because of his availability. Be available for God and God will use you. 
Praise the Lord. If you want to be an angel of God, if you want to be a messenger of God, be free for God. Praise the Lord. Be free for God. Be free for God. Put him first. Then all the things that are on this earth, they will turn around for you. Praise the Lord. The Bible says what? These signs shall follow them that believe. Praise the Lord. What did Papa tell us? We don't have to follow signs. Signs shall follow us. Praise the Lord. Signs shall follow us when we do the work of God. Because that is what believing means. When you believe in Jesus, you walk the way that Jesus walked. Praise the Lord. When you believe in Jesus, you walk the way that Jesus walked. So these signs must follow you. Amen. Papa testified a lot of times that the work that he is working now, it was because he wanted to be available for God that he was able to receive this work. It was because he wanted to be available for God that he was able to receive this work. If it, is God, if it was because he wanted to be available to do other things, he would not have received it. But because it was for God, God increased. Praise the Lord. God increased because it was for him. Praise Master Jesus. We have to be available for God. Because when God uses us, you will increase. Levels that you've never seen before, you will see them. Praise the Lord. Do you think that somebody like Paul ever thought that he would come to Europe? But because of the word of God, he came unto Greece, he came to, to, to Italy. Praise the Lord. Because of the word of God, do you think that that was in his mind? Do you think that from, from his childhood he said, I want to leave this Jerusalem, I want to leave this Israel and go to Europe. But when he started to do the work of God, God increased him. And God made him go places that he never thought he would go. Praise the Lord. That is what your availability would go, uh, uh, for, for, for God can do for you. Amen. That is what your availability for God can do for you. It will bring you places. God will bring you places. God will bring you places when you are a messenger for him. Praise the Lord. When you are a messenger for him. If Joseph was not the messenger of God in that prison, he would not have gone out of prison. Because it was the, his ability to, to speak the word of God, to speak the way that he understood from God, that is what made him to be increased and be removed from that prison in the first place. Because if he did not speak, if he was not able to interpret those dreams, he would still remain in prison. Praise the Lord. But because he was available for God to use him in that situation, God increased him. A prime minister. Amen. But as long as you are not able to listen to the message that you have to bring, every message that you will bring will be false. It will not be the message that you are meant to bring. Praise the Lord. It will not be the message that you are meant to bring. Amen. We have to listen to the word of God. We have to listen to God. What is the message that God wants me to give to these people? What is the message that God wants me to bring to these people? Praise the Lord. Isaiah said, when, when Isaiah said, I'm available, God said, okay, this is what you have to say. Praise the Lord. This is what you have to say. Before the disciples were able to be sent out, Jesus had to sit with them. Amen. Jesus sat with them. He taught them. They listened to what Jesus had to say. They listened to what the message was. What, 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 what do we have to say, Jesus? What do we have to do, Jesus? And that is when, after that, he was able to send them out. But as long as he was not teaching them, he would not have sent them out. Praise the Lord. We need to listen to the message if we want to carry out the message. Praise the Lord. If we want to be able to bring the message, we have to listen to the message. Amen. We have to listen to the message. If you ask me to preach and God does not give me a preaching, I will not preach. Eh? I will not preach. If you tell me and they go and preach and God does not tell me, God does not give me a message, I will not risk it. Praise the Lord. I will not come and stand on this altar and, and, and preach. I will not do it. I will respectfully tell you no. As long as I do not hear from God, I will not speak. Because everything I will say here, it will not be from Him. It will be my own, my own thoughts. Praise the Lord. As long as God does not speak, I, do not, I will not speak as well. Praise the Lord. I will not preach. 
What did Jesus say? Jesus said, For I have not spoken on my own authority, but the Father who sent me gave me a command what I should say and what I should speak. And I, do, I know that his command is everlasting life. Therefore, whatever I speak, just as the Father has told me so, I speak. Praise the Lord. In John 12, verse 49. He said, whatever the Father tells me to speak, I speak. So as long as the Father does not tell me to speak, I will not speak. As long as the Father will not give me a message, I will not go and carry out any mission. Praise the Lord. I will remain where I am. Amen. We have to wait for God's instructions. We have to listen to his instructions. And when he gives us instructions, we have to, for, uh, we have to carry them out the way that he wants them to be carried out. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Do you know that the life of Moses would have ended differently if Moses had completely done what God asked him to do? When he went and struck the rock, God had given him specific instructions. But Moses did something else. Praise the Lord. God had given him a message, a mission. But Moses did something else. God said, speak to the rock. Moses struck the rock. Now that simple difference, it made him not to enter into the promised land. Praise the Lord. That simple difference, it made him not to enter into the promised land. Because he did not carry out the mission the way that he was meant to carry it out. Praise the Lord. Do you know that the life of Saul would have ended differently if Saul had fulfilled what God told him to do? When he said, go and kill all these other guys. Praise the Lord. When he said, go and kill them all. Do you know that the life of Saul would have ended differently if Saul had done exactly what God wanted him to do? But because he did not carry out the mission the, the right way, his life turned. Praise the Lord. We have to listen to the message. And we have to do the message the way that it was spoken to us. We have to carry out the message the way that it was spoken to us. Do not add your own interpretation onto it. Carry out the way that God wants you to do it. Praise the Lord. So that you make no mistakes. Jesus said, I speak as my father told me to speak. I do as I see my father do. Praise the Lord. I, I'm not adding anything of my own in this thing. Praise the Lord. I am not adding anything of my own interpretation in this thing because why? That will make me miss my blessing. What does the Bible say? The Bible says that whoever adds one word or removes one word of this book, it shall be removed from his life. Praise the Lord. Do you know that it is the same thing with the missions that you have to carry out? It is the same thing with the word that God gives you to speak to people. From the moment that you start to speak on your own, the Holy Spirit has left you. You are there on your own. From the moment that you want to depend on your own understanding, the Holy Spirit has left you. Praise the Lord. The Holy Spirit has left you. You have to speak the way that God tells you to speak. Amen. Amen. That is why we need the Holy Spirit. Yes. We need the Holy Spirit. Yes. We need the Spirit of God. Amen. We need the Holy Spirit. Amen. That is why Jesus told them, wait. Wait until the Holy Spirit comes. Wait until the Holy Spirit comes before you go out. Because if you go out now, whatever you will speak, it will not be from you. Praise the Lord. Whatever you will speak, it will not be from you. Amen. When, 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 when Peter understood who Jesus was, what did, Je what did Jesus say? Jesus said, it is not you that spoke. It is the Father that has revealed to you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It is the Father that has revealed to you. Amen. When you speak, let it be from God. Let it be from God. Praise the Lord. Amen. Listen to the word of God. Listen to the word of God. If you want to be used as a messenger. Amen. If you want God to use you as a messenger, listen to the word of God. Praise the Lord. Listen to the word of God. Increase your level of fellowship with God. Praise the Lord. We have to increase our level of fellowship with God because that is how you will hear from Him. That is how you will hear from Him. 
And as long as you stay connected unto him, he will keep giving you messages. Amen. As long as you stay connected unto him, he will give you messages. He will tell, he will tell you what you have to say to people. As long as you remain connected unto him. Praise the Lord. But from the moment that you try to do things by your own, you are on your own. From the moment that you try to do things your own way, you are on your own. Jesus of God, God is not in that. The Spirit of God is not in that. Praise the Lord. The Spirit of God is not in that. What did Jesus say to Nicodemus? He said that the Spirit goes and comes however it wants and no one knows where it goes. No one knows where it comes from. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. No one knows where it goes. No one knows where it comes from. Amen. We have to become people that hear from God and speak as we hear from God. Amen. People that hear from God and speak as we hear from God. Number four, don't stop until it's done. If you want to be an angel of God, if you want to be a voice of God, do not stop until it's done. Praise the Lord. Look at what Isaiah said. Isaiah said in verse 11, then I said, Lord, how long? Amen. Lord, how long? And what did God say? God said, until the cities are laid waste and without inhabitant, and so on and so on. Praise the Lord. God, Isaiah asked, how long do I have to do this? And God gave him a timeline. Amen. God gave him a deadline. Praise the Lord. Do not do, do not, do not, do not stop midway your message. Praise the Lord. Do not stop halfway your message. If you want to be an angel of God, you have to know that what you have started, you have to bring it on to the end. Amen. The mission that God gives you, the message that God gives you, you have to give it on to the end. Praise the Lord. You have to, the mission that God gives you to carry out, you have to bring it on to the end. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. Praise Master Jesus. God gave Isaiah a deadline. He said, Isaiah asked, how long do I have to speak? How long do I have to bring this message? And God told him until when. Praise the Lord. God told him until when. And before these things had happened, Isaiah had no right to stop. Praise the Lord. Before these things that God has spoken happens, God, uh, Isaiah had no right to stop. Praise the Lord. Jesus could not stop until he died. Amen. Jesus could not stop this mission until he died. Praise the Lord. That is why he was praying in agony and, Jesus, and God said, you have to continue. Praise the Lord. You have to run this race until it's over. Amen. You have to run this race until it's over. Until God says it is over. Amen. Until God says it is over. Jesus wanted the cup to pass him by, but God said, no, you have to drink it. Praise the Lord. God said, no, you have to drink it. God said, no, you have to drink it. Do not stop until it's done. Carry out your message. Isaiah asked, when? Until when? Until when should I, should I speak? How long am I supposed to speak? And God gave him a deadline. Praise the Lord. And Isaiah had to stick to that deadline if he wanted to enter the kingdom of God. As long as the race is not ended, as long as the work is not done, you cannot go back to God. Praise the Lord. As long as the race is not unto the end, you cannot return to God. Praise the Lord. Because that is what also Jesus said. Jesus said, Now God, let your, let your, let your, uh, glorify yourself in me. Praise the Lord. He said, glorify yourself in me and bring me back because I have finished. Praise the Lord. I have finished the work. Amen. I have done the work. I have brought it unto the end. Amen. We have to continue the race. We have to bring out our message. The message that God gives us, we have to do it unto the end. That is what it means to be a voice of an angel. Praise the Lord. When angel Michael was on the way to Daniel, he did not stop halfway because of the battle that was there. The Bible says he was fighting the prince of the air. And that is what delayed his, uh, him delivering the, 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 the blessing of Daniel, the, uh, answering the, uh, the, the prayer of Daniel, praise the Lord. That is what delayed him. But he, he did not stop midway, praise the Lord. 
He did not stop midway. No matter what the battle was in front of him, he had to fight that battle to get to Daniel. Amen. He had to fight that battle and get to Daniel. As a messenger of God, on your way, on your, on, on, while you are busy dropping your message, while you are busy bringing out your message, you have to know that you will have battles. But you have to continue. Because the Lord will strengthen you. The same way that he strengthened Jesus in the garden of Gethsemane, he will strengthen you. Amen. Praise the Lord. You will finish that race. Amen. You will finish that race. Amen. Angel Michael had to fight the prince of air to get to Daniel. But he did not stop him. The Bible does not say he went back. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Bible does not say he went back. He said, Daniel, sorry, I was delayed because I was having a battle. Mm -hmm. But I am here. Hallelujah. I still brought the message. Praise the Lord. I still brought the message. I still, your answer, your prayer that you have prayed, it is still answered. Praise the Lord. You have to go until it is done. Hallelujah. Second Chronicles 15, 7, uh, verse 7 says, But you take courage. Do not let your hands be weak, for your work shall be rewarded. Hallelujah. Amen. Your work shall be rewarded praise the lord the work that you have the you bringing out the message of god the right way the correct way god shall reward you praise the lord god shall reward you the, the the reward of jesus is that he was able to go back and sit at the right hand of the father as long as he did not bring uh, as long as he did not carry out his mission completely he will not come back to the to, to the right seat at the, uh, at the right of the Father. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But because he finished the work, he was rewarded. Praise the Lord. He was rewarded because he finished the work. We have to finish the work. Voices of angels. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Voices of angels. If we want to be voices of angels, we have to renew the way we talk. We have to be available. Praise the Lord. We have to listen to the message. And we have to continue until the end. Praise the Lord. We have to what? We have to uh, uh, we have to renew the way we talk. We have to listen to the. We have to be available. We have to listen to the message, and we have to continue until the end. That is how you become a voice of an angel. Praise the Lord. That is why. That is how you become a voice for God. Amen. That is how you become a voice for God, because. Isaiah could not receive the word of God. Isaiah could not receive the message from God as long as he was not available. Praise the Lord. As long as he was not available, he could not receive his message from God. Praise the Lord. He could not receive a message from God. You do not go and put gas in a car that you are not going to use. Amen. You will not go and, pour, and, and, and fill up a car that you are never going to use. Praise the Lord. You don't do that. Same thing with God. If you are not available for Him, He will not fill you. Praise the Lord. If you are not available for Him, He will not give you a message. What will He give it for you for? It is a waste. And God does not like wasting. Praise the Lord. And God does not like wasting. You have to be available. You have to listen to Him and bring out and carry out His mission. That is how you become an angel of God. Praise the Lord. That is how you become a messenger of God. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. Messengers of God. Amen. Messengers of God. Messengers of God. You have to renew the way you talk. You have to be available. You have to listen to the message. And you have to carry out the way that it was spoken to you. Until the end. Until God says you have done. Praise the Lord. Until God says you have done enough. Until God says you have done enough. It is not men that determine how much you have done. It is God. It is not men that determine the end. It is God. Praise the Lord. It is not men that you are here to satisfy. It is God. As long as you have not satisfied God, continue to go. Praise the Lord. As long as you have not satisfied God, continue to go. Men are deceiving you. They are deceiving you if they say it is enough. But God is not saying it is enough. Continue. Praise the Lord. As long as God is not saying you have done enough, continue the race. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. Voices of angels. Voices of angels. The mission God gives you, He knows you can handle. 
the mission that he gives you he knows you can handle and as long as you rely on him you will finish the race Amen. praise the lord as long as you rely on him you will finish the race the reason why people give up halfway is because they are not relying on him praise the lord they are not relying on him so when they face difficulties they say how they they, they, they stop because they are not relying on god <coughs> praise the lord because they are not relying on god that is why they stop halfway but when you rely completely in him when you rely completely on him praise the lord that is when you will win that is when you will come to the finish that is when you will bring your uh, your, your assignment on to the very end when you rely on god as long as the children of israel in the book of joshua as long as they relied on god they were winning praise the lord as long as they relied on god they were winning because their assignment was done go back to the promised land and take it over take over the promised land praise the lord take over israel that was their assignment amen that was their assignment take over israel and as long as they relied on god every battle that they went through they won it amen but that one battle that they lost it was because they did not rely on the word of god they did not go and inquire from god and that is that one battle that they lost praise the lord rely on the word of god amen and you shall bring your race unto the end in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus I want more of you, Jesus. The more I know you, the more I want to know you, Jesus. More of you. I want more of you. I want more of you, Jesus. The more I know you, the more I want to know you, Jesus. More of you. We are going to ask God. To change our tongues we are going to ask him to change our tongues because it is time that we become voices of God it is time that we become messengers of God praise the Lord it is time that we become messengers of God it is time that we rise up and become messengers of God praise the Lord we are going to ask God to cleanse our tongue Heavenly Father cleans our tongue Heavenly Father cleans our tongue Heavenly Father, cleanse our tongue, cleanse our mouth, Heavenly Father. Purify our mouth, Heavenly Father. The same way that you purified the mouth of Isaiah, Heavenly Father. Purify our mouths in the mighty name of Jesus. Purify our mouths in the mighty name of Jesus. The same way that you purify the mouth of Isaiah, Heavenly Father. Purify our mouths in the mighty name of Jesus. My Father, my Father, O oh Lord. Every every word, O oh Lord. Every word, O oh Lord, that is not from you, O oh Lord, in our tongues, O oh Lord. Heavenly Father, O oh Lord, let it be cleansed, O oh Lord. Let it be removed in the mighty name of Jesus. Let it be cleansed, O oh Lord. Let it be removed in the mighty name of Jesus. Let it be cleansed, O oh Lord. Let it be removed in the mighty name of Jesus. Heavenly Father. Oh Lord, let me speak a new tongue, oh Lord. Heavenly Father, let me speak a new tongue, oh Lord. Let my vocabulary be different, oh Lord. Let my vocabulary be different, oh Lord. Heavenly Father, oh Lord, let the message, oh Lord, that comes out of my mouth, oh Lord, let it be different in the mighty name of Jesus, oh Lord. Let the message that comes out of my mouth, oh Lord, be different in the mighty name of Jesus, oh Lord. Heavenly Father, wherever, oh Lord, I was speaking like the world, oh Lord. Heavenly Father, oh Lord, change my tongue today, oh Lord. Change my tongue today, oh Lord. Change my 
my tongue today, O Lord. Change my tongue today, O Lord. Change my way of speaking, O Lord. Change my way of speaking, O Lord. Heavenly Father, renew, O Lord, my way of speaking, O Lord. Renew, O Lord, my mouth, O Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, O Lord. Renew, O Lord, my mouth, O Lord. Remove, O Lord, whatever is not from you, O Lord. Purify my mouth, O Lord. Purify my mouth, O Lord. Purify my mouth, O Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, O Lord. Heavenly Father, O Lord, remove, O Lord. Remove, O Lord, whatever does not come from you, O Lord. Remove, O Lord, whatever does not come from you, O Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. We are going to pray. For God to help us break the chains of every occup every occupation that does that makes us not to be available for the word of God. That makes us not to be available for the work of God. Any vain occupation. Heavenly Father, help me to cut it off. Heavenly Father, help me to cut it off. Every vain occupation. Every vain occupation. That makes me not available for your work. That makes me unable to be available for your work. Heavenly Father, oh Lord, let it be counseled. Let it be cut off from my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Let it be cut off from my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Every vain occupation. Every vain occupation. Heavenly Father, let it be cut off. Heavenly Father, let it be removed. Heavenly Father, oh Lord, let it be cut off from our life, oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, every vain occupation, my Father, my Father, oh Lord. Every vain occupation, oh Lord. Heavenly Father, let it be cut off in the mighty name of Jesus, oh Lord. Let it be cut off in the mighty name of Jesus, oh Lord. Every every vein of occupation, oh Lord. My Father, strengthen me to cut it off, oh Lord. Strengthen me, oh Lord, to disconnect myself, oh Lord. Strengthen me, oh Lord, to be able to prioritize you, O Lord. Heavenly Father, strengthen me, O Lord, to be able to put you at the first place, O Lord. Every vain occupation, O Lord, that is making me, O Lord. Every vain occupation, O Lord, that is making me, O Lord. Not able, O Lord, to be available for you, O Lord. Heavenly Father, help me, O Lord. Help me, O Lord, to disconnect myself from it, O Lord. Help me, O Lord, to disconnect myself from it, O Lord. The same way that Peter was able to disconnect himself from his fishing business, O Lord. Heavenly Father, help me, O Lord. Help me, O Lord, to be able to disconnect myself, O Lord. From every vain occupation, O oh Lord. Every occupation, O oh Lord, that blocks me, O oh Lord. Every occupation, O oh Lord, that does not make me able, O oh Lord, to be available for your work, O oh Lord. Heavenly Father, O oh Lord, disconnect me, O oh Lord. Heavenly Father, disconnect me, O oh Lord. Heavenly Father, disconnect me from it. Heavenly Father, disconnect me from it. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. We are going to pray that every word that we have listened every word that we have listened that has caused us to speak the wrong message let it be removed from our minds in the mighty name of jesus let it be removed from our minds in the mighty name of jesus the bible says faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the words of god every other work every other word that we have listened to every other message that we have listened to that made us carry out of a, a false mission heavenly father let it be removed heavenly father let it be removed every message that we have brought out every Message that we have brought out as a, as a as a as a, as a as a cause of, of 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 not listening to the to the right message, Heavenly Father, let it be removed, O oh Lord. Let that message be removed from our minds, O oh Lord. Let our minds, O oh Lord, be renewed in the mighty name of Jesus, O oh Lord. Let our minds, O oh Lord, be renewed in the mighty name of Jesus, O oh Lord. Every message, O oh Lord, that we have run, we have brought wrongly, O oh Lord, as a consequence, O oh Lord, of, as, of not listening to the right message, O oh Lord. Heavenly Father, O oh Lord, let it be removed, O oh Lord. Let it be removed, O oh Lord. Let it be removed, O oh Lord. And let your word, O oh Lord, take place, O oh Lord. Let your word, O oh Lord, take place, O oh Lord. Let your word, O oh Lord, take place, O oh Lord. Let your word, O oh Lord, take place, O oh Lord. Let your word, O oh Lord, take place, O oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are going to pray. Heavenly Father, strengthen me. Heavenly Father, strengthen me. Strengthen me, O oh Lord, to run unto the end, O oh Lord. Strengthen me, O oh Lord, to carry out, O oh Lord, your message unto the end, O oh Lord. Strengthen me, O oh Lord, to carry out this race unto the end, O oh Lord. Strengthen me, O oh Lord, to not stop halfway in the mighty name of Jesus, O oh Lord. Lord. Heavenly Father, O oh Lord, wherever I feel weak, O oh Lord. Heavenly Father, let your angels, O oh Lord, minister to me, O oh Lord. The same way that they ministered, O oh Lord, unto Jesus in the garden of Gethsemane, O oh Lord. Heavenly Father, strengthen me, O oh Lord. Strengthen me today, O oh Lord. Strengthen me today, O oh Lord. Strengthen me today, O oh Lord. To oh not stop halfway in the mighty name of Jesus, O oh Lord. Strengthen me today, O oh Lord. To not stop, O oh Lord, as... 
in the beginning, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, O oh Lord. Father, no matter what battle, O oh Lord, that we face, O oh Lord, just as the angel, uh, as the angel Michael, O oh Lord, continued his trip to Daniel, O oh Lord. Heavenly Father, O oh Lord, that will continue, O oh Lord. Heavenly Father, strengthen me to continue, O oh Lord. Strengthen me, O oh Lord, to overcome, O oh Lord, every battle, O oh Lord. Strengthen me to overcome, O oh Lord, every power, O oh Lord, that will try to block me, O oh Lord, from giving my message unto your people, O oh Lord, to giving your message unto your people. O oh Lord, Heavenly Father, strengthen me, O oh Lord. Strengthen me, O oh Lord, to carry out your will, O oh Lord, unto the end, O oh Lord. Strengthen me to carry out your will unto the end, O oh Lord. Strengthen me to carry out your will unto the end, O oh Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. 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 Name we have prayed. Holy Spirit, we thank you. Holy Spirit, there is none like you. Holy Spirit. You are wonderful. Oh, yes, Lord. We thank you. Yes, Lord. We thank you for your fellowship. Thank you. We thank you for your presence. Thank you. We thank you for your grace. Thank you. We thank you for your mercies. Thank you. We thank you, my Father, for opening our eyes, O oh Lord. Amen. We thank you, my Father, for revealing, O oh Lord, what you want us to see, O oh Lord. We thank you, my Father, for speaking, O oh Lord, what you want us to hear, O oh Lord. My Father, my Father, we thank you for your knowledge, O oh Lord. We thank you for your understanding, O oh Lord. We thank you for your understanding, O oh Lord. Amen. Heavenly Father, O oh Lord, let us rise up, O oh Lord, and become voices of you, O oh Lord. Amen. Voices of angels, O oh Lord. Amen. Angels, O oh Lord, my Father, my Father, that shall not fear, O oh Lord, to stand, O oh Lord, and to speak, O oh Lord. Angels, O oh Lord, my Father, my Father, O oh Lord, that shall not fail, O oh Lord, to carry out, O oh Lord, the mission, O oh Lord, the way you want it to be carried out, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, O oh Lord. The same way, O oh Lord, that Moses asked, O oh Lord, for you to teach him, O oh Lord, your ways, O oh Lord. To teach him, O oh Lord, how to walk according to your ways, O oh Lord. Heavenly Father, O oh Lord, we ask today, O oh Lord, teach us, O oh Lord, how to walk according to your ways, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, O oh Lord. Teach us today, O oh Lord, how to carry out your mission, O oh Lord, the way that you want it to be carried out, O oh Lord. Heavenly Father, O oh Lord, we pray, my Father, my Father, O oh Lord, that today, O oh Lord, as we rise up, O oh Lord, and become angels, O oh Lord. Angels for your name's sake, O oh Lord. Heavenly Father, we pray in the mighty name of Jesus, O oh Lord. Every arrow the enemy will try to send, O oh Lord. Every priest of the air, O oh Lord, my Father, my Father, O oh Lord, that will try to send, that, that will try to block us, O oh Lord, as they blocked uh, uh, Michael, O oh Lord. Heavenly Father, O oh Lord, they cannot stop us, O oh Lord. They will not stop us, O oh Lord. The same way that they did not stop Michael, O oh Lord, they will not stop us in the mighty name of Jesus, O oh Lord. They will not stop us in the mighty name of Jesus, O oh Lord. Heavenly Father, O oh Lord, the race, O oh Lord, that we are running, O oh Lord, we shall not, we shall not stop at the middle, O oh Lord. We shall not stop in the middle, O oh Lord. We will continue unto the end, O oh Lord. We will carry out unto your end, O oh Lord. By your grace, by your mercy, in the mighty name of Jesus, O oh Lord. Heavenly Father, we say thank you, O oh Lord. We glorify your holy name, O oh Lord. We magnify your holy name, O oh Lord. There is none like you, O oh Lord. Ancients of days, there is none like you, O oh Lord. Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Jireh, there is none like you, O oh Lord. El Shaddai, there is none like you, O oh Lord. Elohim, there is none to compare unto you, O oh Lord. Emmanuel, O oh Lord. My Father, we love you oh lord we adore your holy name oh lord we adore your holy name father we declare that we love you we declare our everlasting love for you father we declare father we declare yes we declare Love you. We declare everlasting love for you, Father. We declare, Father. We declare, yeah, we declare. 